In this video, we'll be talking about some basic photo correction tools that you can use. Take a moment to open the document called Part 4, Photo Correction Tools. Follow the first set of instructions. The first photo correction tool we're going to talk about is the crop tool. Let's take a look at this sample image of this ball. Let's say that I wanted to crop out this garage and this wire up here. I'm going to need to select the crop tool. Crop tool is here, the fifth tool down. And all I need to do is move these corner pieces in until I've got it where I want it to be. I can crop just to there, or if I wanted to, I could crop in a little bit farther. I could pull in any of the corners that I wanted to. If I wanted to do something like that, make it more square. Once I have it where I want it, I can just press enter, and it has my cropped image. But let's say that I wanted to do a specific size. I'm going to undo by pressing Command Z. Before I crop, I'm going to go up to my option bar to this drop down menu that says unconstrained. Unconstrained means that it's not going to constrain the ratio. So I can move this to be whatever size that I want. If I wanted it to be really long and skinny for some reason, I could do that. But let's say that I want it to be something very specific. There are several standard sizes. Let's say that I want to have an 8 by 10 image. I'm going to click here, and you'll notice that it automatically changes the proportion of the crop. And if I wanted to change the crop, I cannot make it anything besides an 8 by 10. It's going to keep those proportions whether they are landscape or portrait. I can also change it from landscape to portrait by clicking the rotate the crop box. And the same as before, once you have the image the way that you want it, you press enter to complete the crop. Now I'm going to go back to our worksheet here part 4, and you can see that I still have my crop tool selected, and that it still has the proportions that I set it to with the other photo. But I don't want it to be 8 by 10 or 4 by 5 for this document, so I'm going to click on the drop down and go back up to unconstrained, and then I can change it to be whatever I want it to be. I want to crop off the black around the image. You see how it jumps here on the corners? So now would be a good time for me to zoom in, so I'm going to hold down Alt and scroll with my mouse, and that went in really far. And you can just use your mouse to scroll where you want to be. And you can see that my crop still has some of that black in there, so I'm going to move it until I've just barely blocked out the black. I'll do the same thing on the other side, so I'm going to scroll out and then scroll back into this corner. Once finished, I can press enter and it finishes the crop. Let's take a look at what we've got. That looks pretty good. You can crop as many times as you need to. Let's say that I didn't quite get all of the black out. I can still crop again by moving the corners. I don't need to right now, but so that you know, if you need to crop again, that is still an option for you. And to exit the crop tool, you can just switch to a different tool. And it'll ask me if I want to crop. I didn't really do anything, so I can press don't crop. And I'll scroll out again, and that looks pretty good. So take a moment and complete the second set of instructions.